Welcome to reports which made headlines last week. Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki on Monday left Abuja for India for medical treatment. The leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria left with his wife and other security personnel aboard an Emirates airline. El Zagzaki and his wife Zainat arrived at the Enamdi Azikiwe International Airport Abuja early on Monday following the order of a Kaduna High Court which granted them leave to undergo treatment at an Indian hospital of their choice. This followed an application by El Zagzaki's Council on Human Rights Activist Femi Falano SAN to allow them to travel for treatment as a result of the deteriorating health condition. Justice Darius Kobo thereafter granted the leave on August 5 adding that the IMN leader and his wife would be accompanied abroad by officials of the Kaduna state government. President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday said he has directed the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to stop providing foreign exchange for importation of food into the country. Buhari made the disclosure when he hosted the All Progressives Congress governors to eat El Kabir lunch at his country home in Dora, Katsina State. Buhari said there was no need for food importation into the country because there had been steady improvement in agricultural production and attainment of full food security. The president said the foreign reserve will be conserved and utilized strictly for diversification of the economy and not for encouraging more dependence on foreign food import bills. Buhari noted that some Nigerian states, Kabi, Ogun, Lagos, Jigawa, Eboi, and Kano, had already taken advantage of the government's policy on agriculture with returns in rice farming. He urged more states to plug into the ongoing revolution to feed the nation. <music> President Muhammad Buhari on Wednesday assented to two bills, including the Nigerian Correctional Service Act 2019, which gives a lifeline to condemned criminals not executed 10 years after exhausting all legal procedures for appeal. Section 12, subsection 2C of the Act provides that where an inmate sentenced to death has exhausted all legal procedures for appeal and a period of 10 years has elapsed without execution of the sentence, the chief judge may commute the sentence of death to life imprisonment. The other bill assented to by the president is the Federal Universities of Agriculture Amendment No. 2 Act 2019 which changes the name of the Federal University of Agriculture, Makodi, in Benue State to Joseph Savwan Taka University, Makodi. Ita Enang, Senior Special Assistant to the President to National Assembly Matters Senate, who briefed State House correspondent in Abuja on Wednesday, explained that the Nigerian Correctional Service Bill 2019 repeals the Prisons Act and changes the name from Nigeria Prison Service to the Nigerian Correctional Service otherwise known as the Correctional Service. According to the Act, there are two main faculties of the Correctional Service, including Custodial Service and Non-Custodial Service. The Ogun State Governor, Dakwa Abiodun, on Thursday launched an official job portal created for the unemployed people in the state and gave automatic employment to 20 residents. The 20 newly employed civil servant whose ages were between 25 to 35 years, were selected after emerging as top 20 winners in an interview game played at the launch of the portal held at the cultural center Kuto Abelkuta. Abiodun, while confirming the employment of the lucky winners, said the appointment of the new civil servant showed the commitment of his administration to reduce the rate of unemployment in the state. He added that the job portal was a product of his commitment to ensure a viable public-private partnership that could bring about quality governance model. Abiodun, who said he regarded himself as a businessman in politics as opposed to being in politics for money, said he was ready to personally mentor youth in Ogun State so that more successful businessmen like Aliko Dangote and Mike Adenuga could be created. And on Friday, Leader of the proscribed Islamic movement in Nigeria, Ibrahim El Zogzaki and his wife Zinat, returned to Nigeria from India. The couple returned to the country on Friday afternoon, four days after they traveled for treatment. El Zogzaki and his wife left Nigeria on Monday for India, following a ruling of the Kaduna State High Court, which granted them permission to be treated in the country. 
On the arrival at the hospital where treatment was suspected to commence, the trip turned controversial. The IMN accused the Nigerian government of treating their leader like a criminal and denying him access to the doctor with whom they had an arrangement. They also claimed that El Zaki was denied free movement and was monitored by heavy security surveillance in India. El Zaki had also narrated his ordeal in the foreign country, saying the condition in India was worse than that of Nigeria. The Nigerian government in its response denied the allegations by the IMN and its leader. Instead, the government accused the Shiite leader of becoming unruly at the hospital in New Delhi and apologized to the Indian authorities. Following their return to the country from India, El Zaki and his wife Zinat were taken into custody by security agents upon their arrival. The leader of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, IMN, and his wife were wixed away by the security agent at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport. And still on Friday, FIFA banned former Nigeria Football Federation officials Samson Siasia for life after the body's ethics panel found him guilty of taking bribe in connection with match fixing. In a statement, the adjudicatory chamber of FIFA's independent ethics committee said the prop targeting Siasia stemmed from a wider investigation involving Wilson Raj Perumal, who has confessed to international match fixing. The probe that began in February found Siasia guilty of having accepted that he would receive bribes in relation to the manipulation of matches in violation of the FIFA Code of Ethics, the statement said. In addition to being banned from all football-related activity for life, Siasia was also handed a fine of 50,000 Swiss francs. FIFA did not detail the nature of ties to Perumal, a Singaporean national who was arrested and jailed in Finland in 2011 for fixing top-tier football games there. Peruma later collaborated with match-fixing investigators.